want a pink background on this particular tip in. Remember, this is going to be one that I'm just going to be able to tape right in with washi tape. And I've put down just a, a cutting mat because I'm going all the way to the edge and not worrying about being neat. I'm gonna use a pink watercolor crayon, but you can use any paint, remember, that you choose. And um, you could use, this is a number six watercolor brush. I'm gonna actually grab that water brush that I've got, squeeze out a little water so that it's wet. And I'm just going to begin by rubbing that against my watercolor crayon and adding to my paper. I, I squeezed out some water right there onto the paper and I want a mottled pink background. I, I do not want a solid color, so I'm going heavier with paint in places and lighter. I'm leaving some white showing through. I'm just going to work this across the whole paper. If you don't have a watercolor brush, remember it's just as easy um, with a regular watercolor brush to dip in water and come in and do that exact same technique. You don't have to have that fancy brush with the water in the handle. And uh, make sure that I, I tend to sometimes drip right on my picture where I don't want it to drip. So as you're holding, make sure you're not holding right over your angel's face if you are using a watercolor crayon like I am. You could do the same with just regular watercolor or gouache paints. You could do a more solid background if you chose to. I just want this light and airy. I'm gonna grab that water brush again. Be a little bit more careful as I come around the edges of my pencil. And my particular style, I'm not worried about the pencil lines showing through. I know that some watercolor artists would never um, put pencil to the paper. They would work strictly in their watercolors, but I, I like mixed media and I like, I don't mind my pencil lines. I like those in. In fact, I'll use some of them to my advantage later on. Be thinking about what scripture that you might want to use on your first tip in. And I like to um, just use a black marker and do my scripture right here on top of the paint. So be thinking that through as you're working. You may have a favorite scripture that you want to use. And again, I want this modeled background. Just happens to be a style that I like. I could throw in some different colors if I choose to. Doesn't have to be a solid color. In fact, let me grab one here. You can see that this one was done with yellows and either an orange or a red. I'm not sure exactly what I used on that one. I'll just continue here with the pink. I do really like how this has turned out. I've got that mottled background, which is just one of my favorites. So I'm gonna let this dry and we'll come back and start adding paint to our little angel.